Welcome back to the channel. My name is Clay Wong. Today I'm super excited because we are showcasing a car that I've been dying to experience for a very long time. It's actually something I grew up watching and falling in love with on Initial D and this is it guys. This is a 1992 Nissan Silvia S13. It's a K's JDM model. And guys, this thing is in immaculate condition from the outside to even the interior. It has an uncracked dash and everything about it is just OEM plus. And I think it's one of the finest examples that I've seen in recent times. So I'm here with the owner of the car, Dylan. Hey. How are you going, bro? Good. This How thing is sick. Thank you, thank you. Can yeah. you tell us a little bit about your pride and joy over here, bro? Yeah, no worry. This is my uh, S13. 92 model. So I've owned this for about two years. Yeah, a bit of a story on how I got it. So on the day I was looking for uh, 180s and um, S13s uh, with my brother. Uh, we went and looked at a 180 that morning and it was clapped out, no compliance. Oh, the no. gearbox was just... Uh, and I was like, I'll free set on it, but uh, my brother told me to be patient and um, an hour later this came up on Gumtree. Wow, literally in one hour later. Yeah, yeah. That's and, um, nuts. And I was straight on it, as you can imagine. Yeah, and I was yeah. like calling up the guy. I was like, can I come look at it? He was like, yeah, sure. As you can tell, I fell in love with it, and I just went straight for it. I mean, just look at it. It is so tasty. Yeah, Especially yeah. with what you've done, but... So, you bought this car stock standard, or...? Yeah, yeah. So, um, when I bought it, it was an automatic. Um, yeah, it had stock, uh, stock wheels on it, like the teardrops. Okay. Uh, stock height. Wow. Yeah, stock exhaust, everything was pretty much stock. Full yeah. factory. Yeah, yeah, That's super yeah. rare to come across, right? Yeah, yeah. I mean, I know. It was like one of the cleanest examples. The only, the only non-factory thing was the paint, pretty much. And other than that... And I guess being automatic, it is naturally a lot cleaner of a car, you know. Yeah. Engine's less tired and all that good stuff. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, you get cleaner examples, I guess, as automatics. Um, yeah, but awesome. with automatics, you can kind of have that much fun. So, um... Manual converted it. Oh, yeah. six. Okay, so you've done a manual conversion? Yeah, yeah. So it's got a S14 box in it. Sweet. You know, all the drive line, like the tail shaft and stuff had to be changed, clutch pedal added, all that work was done uh, by me. <laughs> uh, I did it myself. Um, that is super cool. Yeah, yeah. So, you know, to get to the exact car that I was looking for, which was a manual S13. Yeah. Which is what I wanted, yeah. Of course. And I really like what you've done to complement all of it. The wheels, the stance. Yeah. And I think the color, as you said, it really complements it. Green, yeah. I mean, it's a bit of a debate going on right now whether it's green yeah. or gray. Uh, <laughs> exactly, yeah. We've been having an off-camera... I guess discussion, discussion yeah. and we're trying to figure out whether it's green or gray I think there's some hues of green but Dylan reckons it's more of a gray so let us know in the comments below guys yeah I really like the OEM body kit it still looks you know really in your face and tough I kind of like that old school period correct look where it's small wheels like old school wheels and like even like the parking pole stuff like that it's got like little exactly that like parking it. pole that's so cool yeah 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 i think it's really period correct to the 90s yeah well, especially the early 90s as well that's exactly yeah what i was going for there is a body works uh body kit sorry in the works okay cool um it's yeah still getting painted and stuff like that oh can't um, wait to see it man part two for sure right for sure yeah i mean it's like it's got a 90s style like a wang and wing and like being but i want to look too much i'll see it for the next video oh man i can't yeah. wait to see it though but yeah. still as is such a cool looking car and this is also the jdm s13 right so it's got an sr20 det yeah yeah so yeah the jdm s13 um it's got the uh, sr20 deck so turbo oh man could you pop the bonnet yeah no worries that's it there. Oh, awesome, man. Mighty SR20. It looks so good. But yeah, could you tell us a little bit about your engine bay and what you've done here? Yeah, so it's basic, I guess bolt-ons, basic bolt-ons. So you got like your front mount intercooler um, with the stock piping to kind of give it like the stock look. Pod filter, I guess, with a custom cover to cover it up. So As just... though it was factory, honestly. Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's the goal. You know, I want it to look like, you know, factory, but with the mods in as well. Like it's got a... Um, it's got Tome Pond Cams 256s, a T28 ball bearing turbo, which is from the JDM S15s. Awesome. Um, so it spools up a bit quicker. And to complement that, it's got a Blitz SBC ID. Okay. Uh, electronic boost controller. Sweet. So, so, how much power would you be pushing out of this car? Since it's untuned, it's still got a power FC in it ready to go. Okay. I just need to get it tuned. There's still some works going on. 150 mm -hmm. ish right now. Yeah, awesome. Um, That's a pretty good amount, especially being that this car is, you know, 1100 kilos close to 1200 kilos yeah it's literally nothing yeah i mean 200 horsepower the wheels is a lot in my heart i want to kind of keep it locked up in a garage and you keep it safe yeah of course yeah. i mean prices on these things are absolutely insane now i mean yeah. to pick one up well i think it's 
a lot of money. Yeah. I think, honestly, this car is probably worth like 25 grand. And at the time of making this video as well, I think maybe in a year it'll be double. It Who could, knows? Yeah, at this point, the market's just fluctuating. We wouldn't know. But it's crazy. Yeah. Everybody wants an S chassis. And I can't wait to see what you do with this car in the next iteration of this yeah. S13. I mean, just having a look at it now, it is so sick. And I've always wanted to experience and showcase something that's this clean and tasteful. Huge shout out to Delan for allowing me to showcase it again. Thank you so much, man. Great it's going to be you. awesome, bro. Make sure you follow him on Instagram. And guys, let's get straight into it. All right, guys. We are jumping in the S13, Sylvia. This thing is going to be a whole lot of fun. And I can't wait to see how it drives. Obviously, I've driven my good friend Doug's S14 as well as my mate AJ's S15. But nothing as old as an S13 before. So as you guys know, obviously being the SR20 DET in this JDM K's Nissan Silvia, you've got that iconic sound of the SR20 and you really just are so cool and representative of the 90s. You know, everything that I grew up watching as a kid with Initial D, this is that car in so many ways. And man, just jumping into this is a little bit of a time capsule. Not just looking at it, but driving it and experiencing it. Obviously 60 profile tyres on these 15 inch wide and army style wheels and the car feels really direct. And the power delivery is so nice and responsive. utilizing it as a grip car and seeing how it fares on the road we're not drifting it taking it sideways it's a little bit damp out here as well and still it feels so planted to the tarmac it doesn't feel like it's going to get out of hand you always feel in control of this s13 and when you jump on it just sounds savage really it's literally been 10 minutes behind the wheel and it feels so natural to drive. I think, in essence, being a GDM sports car, it's just so raw. A little bit of rub there. It's just so raw and visceral to drive. You don't really have to be on this car for it to be enjoyable. And because it's got the S14 5 speed manual transmission, the gear ratios are a little bit longer. However, you definitely don't need to be towards the red line to enjoy this car. It's only running about 10 psi of boost and it's estimated to be about 150 kilowatts of power just at the rear wheels but I think it's a really nice amount for what this car is. It's a rear wheel drive, lightweight, sports car and one that's actually from the 90s. And being that it is, it doesn't need that much power to be a lot of fun. It only weighs just shy of 1200 kilos and... get a chance to give this car a little bit of stick, it really starts to come into its own. The feedback from the steering wheel is immense. There's just so many sensations and it tells you exactly what this car is doing at the front wheels. It really communicates well to you as a driver. And I can see why people rave about this chassis. Oh my lord, this thing is good. It just wants you to go harder and harder. There's a lot of confidence when you're driving this car and it inspires you to just bring it out. Healing a toe is such a breeze and the gear shifts, it just feels so tight and accurate. He's got a short shifter in here and it's just lovely to roll through the gears. The steering wheel is direct, feedback is immense. Oh my 
to drive and the case of this S13 is no different. I haven't driven too many S chassis and after just experiencing it and seeing what it's like to drive out here today, I feel so confident with this car and man, I really need to get into one of these things. The handling, the power delivery, the noise, it's sad to see that so many are so, I guess, abused, thrashed and wrecked but Man, for whatever purpose you're using this car for, whether it's drift, grip driving, daily driving, or even just hard parking it, this car is bloody awesome. It's no wonder why the craze for Sylvia is absolutely insane right now. I want to say a huge thank you to the owner, Dylan, for letting me drive his pride and joy. This car has been an absolute blast. If you guys enjoyed it, please be sure to smash that thumbs up button in the comments below. Tell me what you like about this K's JDM Nissan Silvia S13 as well as that. Consider subscribing to the channel and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Please take care. Bye for now.